Greetings. So, we're not doing nothing to really, we, to, to defend ourselves. If they was to make vaccinations mandatory and they would punish, give you some kind of penalty or punish you if you don't comply, apply to their rules and regulations, then what are you going to do? I mean, some of your buddies, some of your friends and neighbors, they're going to, rather than to go through any kind of hassle with the government, they're going to go in here and don't take that shot, hoping, praying that it don't kill them or make them sick or do something to their future generations to come. But how can you trust how can you trust the government after all they've been done they done done to black people? See you can't all those brothers and sisters that work inside the government in some capacity. You got you got brothers and sisters that work in the State Department. A whole lot of blacks get and got hired in the State Department because that's their way, that's the Caucasian way of giving you reparations or consideration. He's gonna start <clears throat> hiring the qualified what he what he deemed qualified blacks to work in various capacity in the government but he still he still is in authority he still calls the shots uh, the, the state and the federal and the local governments are controlling the people Now, if a president or anybody let a life-threatening weapon or disease attack his citizens and you don't have no defense lined up, I mean, what's the sense of having missiles and drones and uh, if you don't have no defense for a virus? And you you don't have nothing, nothing you know. So why should you listen? You you know that that, that was my uh, if I had my choice. And this virus is on us and killing us like this. I would kick him out. I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't trust none of the government. I just drop out because they can't work. They can't function unless you participate. If you didn't participate in this in this uh, government system, they wouldn't. They can't operate. They rely on the average person to participate in the system for it to move. Just like if he was going to school going to grade school or college or whatever and all the students drop out of out the school the teachers and the principals and the administration they have to shut it down because then they, they you know they ain't got nobody participating in it you know so they can't make no money at it so if you was to stop paying taxes See what, what black life is doing like defunding the police and all like that. You still got so many other kind of agencies, you know, that could police the people, you know. 
uh, Homeland Security, and you, you know, you can go to jail. They can arrest you. You got the FBI, they all that. Because the Constitution is suspended, see, so they ain't going by none of that. Just like it don't say nowhere in the uh, Constitution that it's uh, mandatory for you to give census or census, you know. I mean, you got a right for, to protect your privacy. You know, the government works for you, see. So if you don't, if the black man don't counsel, go use those uh, loopholes to get itself out of this predicament, then, you know, that's on, that's on you. It's like I heard Brother Shabazz said, you know, he was talking pretty good, but he said a woman with knowledge of self will act accordingly, but, I, you know, nah, man, these sisters, the Caucasian, the white man got even the Muslim sister's mind. Because Ava Muhammad works for the, for the court system. She's a lawyer, but she works for the court system. She don't work for the people, you know. If she worked for the people, she can challenge, uh, she could uh, get a army of lawyers, you know, because you got Moors, you know, they might as well be lawyers. Zulu Shabazz a lawyer. A whole lot of different brothers say they, they down for black people, but they, they work individually for the court system so they're working for the government <laughs> they get a check man so all of them run a game on you man you know all of them run a game on us you know because uh if they wasn't we could have been out this we could have been out of this uh predicament that we in easily we could shut it down just don't participate don't pay taxes you know, they say, well, we got to go to, we got to go to work so we can pay them bit. Yeah, but look what they're doing with the COVID, with the uh, virus. They shouldn't, cutting down money-making opportunities for brothers anyway. You know, uh, barbershops can't do nothing. And, uh, beauty shops, you know, they can get closed down at any given time. Uh, restaurants, all these, churches, all these is avenues where black how black man make his money you know uh, so they got you wearing a mask if you if you don't wear a mask you're gonna get fined or whatever go to jail whatever so they they closing in on you they lose using every weapon in the book and on YouTube the brothers and sisters you can tell something wrong, you know. Ain't nobody on the same page. Everybody talking different. Uh, very few brothers talk like me. Very few brothers talk like me. They're so busy talking about hip hop, talking about uh, boxing, talking about uh, sports, just talking about each other. You know, that's why I'm pulling y'all coat to the ones, you know, I'm making y'all peep the ones that ain't for real. Just like, just like Farrakhan, you know, uh, upset because he can't do his thing on Facebook or YouTube, one of them, you know. And the Nation of Islam got their own uh, channel. You know, the NOI got their own channel. But Farrakhan wanted to reach a whole lot of people at one time. Plus, he wanted to cross over to the white white market. You know, he got, he got white people following him. You know, because he done went like Martin Luther King, civil rights, you know. And 
by now, the Nation of Islam should have had uh, all the black uh, networks, you know, in their corner. But uh, I could tell you a story which I'm going to tell you about. Uh, when I was working at an all uh, black owned and operated radio station in Farrakhan. And, the, and all the black leaders was meeting up. I'm going to tell you about that next, I promise, next video. This is Black Light. Y'all got to, you know, before I go, you got to get on your, shopping your wits up a little bit. Uh, these cats on YouTube, if they're not talking like me, they're not, they not for real. Some brothers is just reporting the news, but, you know, that's cool. But you need a network <laughs> of newscasters, of news reporters, Black Light.